Are you ready to nail party? Hello, I'm Tammy Taylor, president of Tammy Taylor Nails. And today I'm so excited to demonstrate for you an active length squoval acrylic nail. Now let's get started. Sanitize your hands and your client's hands with Sanitize, 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 available in peach or gardenia. Remove the polish with fast acting polish remover, available in peach or gardenia. Etch the nail with the 100 grit purple terminator etcher. Go with the way the nail grows, push back the cuticle, get all the shiny off the nail. Proper etching eliminates 75% of lifting. Go from cuticle to free edge. You're just scratching the nail. I'm not using a lot of pressure. Push back the cuticle using the trigium stone. Make sure there's no cuticle that's grown up on the nail. If there's any skin on the nail, this could cause lifting. Dust off the nail with a plastic manicure brush. If there's any dust on the nail, this can cause lifting. Apply your first coat of primer very sparingly. Let the first coat of primer dry. This dries out the oils in the nail and kills all the germs on the nail. I will be using the Competitive Edge Double Thick Gold Nail Form. Put a curve in your form. Place this curve under the free edge. Stick down your form. Stick down the sides. Stick down your wings. And secure your form. I will be using Original Whitest White Nail Powder. When doing an all white nail or a pink and white nail, I always use A plus nail liquid or extra adhesion nail liquid. They have special brighteners in them that keeps your pink pink and your whites really bright. I will be using my medium flat Kalinske Red Sable brush and towelettes. Using towelettes in your salon will help keep down on odor and also extend the life of your brush. I will be using my Deep Well Ceramic Dappen Dish. This helps with perfect ball consistency and reduces odors. I will be applying my second coat of primer so the primer is wet when I apply my acrylic. The wet primer helps the acrylic adhere to the natural nail. Apply sparingly. This will be a small to medium sized ball. Dip your brush in. Wipe it away from you. Drag towards you. Place this ball onto the free edge area. Let it flow. Pat it out. Bring up the side. Pat it out. Bring up the side. Square off the tip. Get it just how you like it. Wipe off your brush, dip your brush in, wipe it away. This is your second ball, a smaller, wetter ball. Place this ball halfway down the nail bed, let it flow. Stroke it out, side, side, center. Wipe off your brush, dip your brush in, wipe it away. Drag towards you, small wet ball. Place this ball a 32nd inch away from the cuticle. Let it flow. Stroke it out, side, side, center. Wipe off your brush. Dip your brush in. Wipe it away. This is your stress ball, small wet ball. Place this ball almost at the cuticle. Release liquid into it. And then stroke it out, side, side, center. 
When the nail is no longer shiny, squeeze the C-curve. This makes the nail strong and slender. I start at the nail bed and work my way out. I will be filing in five steps using my long-lasting 180 Zebra, but first I'm going to score the edges. This way when I'm filing around the cuticle, it doesn't cut the cuticle, and then dispose of my etcher. The first step in filing is to file straight out from the nail groove on the left. The second step in filing is to file straight out from the nail groove on the right. The third step in filing is the free edge, and this is going to be a squoval-shaped nail. If I wanted a square, I would hold my file straight up and down and file. But a square oval is slightly angled, and you go back and forth, and when the free edge is flush with the file, you know you have a perfect squoval. The fourth step in filing is the cuticle area and the top of the nail. File down on the side, Cross the top, down on the other side. Make sure you're holding the finger securely. You never want the finger to wobble. Down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side. Nice long strokes. Go around your cuticle area. There should be a little road acrylic natural nail cuticle place your file into that little road and get the product flush with the natural nail the fifth step in filing is to turn the nail around from the client's angle and bevel down towards the tip this is the angle the client will be looking at for the next two weeks. If there's a little high spot or a little low spot, bevel it out. I will be buffing with oil using my conditioning cuticle oil available in peach or gardenia. I will be using my clean finish buffing file. Buff the nail in nice long strokes, down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side, get around the cuticle area, bevel out towards the tip. Have the client go wash the have the client go wash their hands with peach antibacterial soft soak and a plastic manicure brush. I will be using A plus coat an air-dry liquid plastic acrylic sealer. This keeps your pinks pink and your whites bright. Nice long strokes, cover the entire nail. I will be applying two coats. Apply your second coat. Nice long strokes. Now you have your active length squoval acrylic nail. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And remember, at Tammy Taylor Nails, nails are always fun and never feel like work.